Do you think the casual, the lay person, realize how great he is? <clears throat> I don't think so. We don't realize how wonderful of a person that individual is until they're maybe past or until it's until they're old. What did he say? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm old. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back from the YouTube video. Bang your man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. We had Oscar De La Hoya recently on uh, Shannon Sharp's show, Club Shay Shay. Yes, we had Oscar De La Fish Dance on Club Shay Shay. That just sounds like it goes together, right? But just, <laughs> but big salute to the both of them, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of both of them athletically, man. You know, Shannon Sharp was a beast of a tight end. You know, Oscar De La Hoya is a beast of a boxer, man. And, you know, I know Oscar De La Hoya sometimes he gets disrespected. And, you know, I mean, sometimes he's the butt of my jokes as well, but Oscar De La Hoya be asking for it, you know, with some of his outrageous comments, some of his actions, you know what I'm saying? He'd be, he be beefing with the boxers, even though he plays the role as a promoter. Sometimes he forgets he's a promoter, in my opinion, and he'd be acting like he'd be wanting to fight boxers, you know, still fight him like, like Cinnamon and uh, Canelo Alvarez and uh, Roly Romero, right? Rollies, you dumbass. <laughs> But it's funny, it's great entertainment. But I want to take this video to salute Oscar De La Hoya because um, <clears throat> while I have not finished the whole entire interview, like I've, I've seen a lot of it, but I haven't finished it in its entirety. Um, but I've, I've, I've been impressed with Oscar De La Hoya, man. You know, he gave a lot of people their credit, uh, most notably Floyd Mayweather, right? You know, uh, Shannon Sharp was asking good questions, quick, good questions per usual. But he asked about Floyd Mayweather and um, how he was, particularly how, how good he was. And Oscar De La Hoya was just, was just very flattering, you know, and I think he was gave an honest, genuine uh, assessment, you know, and they even asked him about how he would fare against the other four kings, you know, if he, if he fought in the in, in the era of, uh, you know, rest in peace, Marvin Marvelous Hagler, uh, Roberto Duran, you know what I'm saying, uh, Big Hands of Stone, you know, El Mano Dora, and uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, and um, and uh, Tommy Hitman Hearns, and, he's, and, and Oscar De La Hoya, you know, check it out right here. Had Floyd been around in the 80s, and he had to fight Hagler, he had mm. to fight Leonard. He, yeah. You know, just just say some of those sure, guys. Sure. How would he have fared? You asked me the question about the '80s and the 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 the, the four kings, right? Yes. Duran and Hearns and Hagler and Leonard. I would have probably called it the five kings. Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! He's that worthy of of fighting those guys and making great fights. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? So yeah, man, he said that, he said that, yeah, he believes that not only Floyd would compete, it would be such a good fight, such a good fight that he would be so comparable of a talent, you know, a phenomenal of a talent that he said that era would have been called the five kings as, to, as opposed to just the four kings, you know, to include, um, to be inclusive and all encompassing of, of, of Floyd Mayweather's presence, you know what I'm saying? I thought that was very dope, man, you know, because they have their, they have their history and, 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 and the documented history between the two is not too flattering. And, and But it's nice to see when people give others Regardless of how you feel personally about them, you still give them their credit and their flowers. You know what I'm saying? And even Oscar mentioned in this interview, he was like, you know, often we don't appreciate people while they're here and uh, we only give them their credit when they're either retired or worse off when, when they're dead. You know what I'm saying? And they can't appreciate that, man. So I think we should appreciate each other. And when you appreciate others, it's kind of a compliment towards yourself because it shows that you have the capacity and the ability to not only recognize good things that you do, but also you're gracious enough and, 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 and cognizant enough to also aware when, uh, be aware of other people when they're doing great things and to compliment them as well, regardless of how you feel about them personally, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I think Oscar De La Hoya definitely uh, um, uh, uh, showed out for himself and, and let people look at him differently, man, and which I always knew he was, he had he, he had that ability to do so, you know, and then also too, in addition to that, he, he, he also, um, Provided some insight that him and Oscar, him, him and Floyd Mayweather had a rematch clause. Excuse me, what? You know, <laughs> but, but but Floyd sat out a year um, and to 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 wait for the rematch to uh, the rematch clause to run its course. You know, and he came back a year and a day later, which I didn't know. You know, so he, uh, him and Oscar were supposed to have a rematch, but Floyd sat, sat it out according to Oscar. Now I'm sure there's other things that that are involved in that decision for Floyd to wait to 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 take off for that long and not just the uh, to avoid the rematch but potentially that could be it you know but even still when when uh, Shannon asked how would that rematch have went he said would you have won and Oscar De La Hoya said no I still would have lost I would have lost the rematch too but he said I still give myself a chance especially if I had Floyd Mayweather senior who he who he proclaimed as the best trainer ever you know the Two best trainer I've ever had wow by far well, except for the professor who trained me for the Chavez fight. But Floyd Sr. is the best trainer I've ever had. 
Uh, he's a teacher. Um, so shout out, shout out to Oscar De La Hoya. And I thought this interview was a good look. And then also too, he they they, they brought up the uh, Manny Pacquiao. You know, people accuse Floyd Mayweather of aging out uh, Manny Pacquiao, when, even though Floyd is older. So how can you age out a younger fighter? But you know, stylistically, you know, styles make fights, and styles are different. You know, and some styles age better than others. You know, and Floyd is a defensive style, and 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 Manny Pacquiao's style is predicated off of athleticism and explosiveness. So of course, his his will his will admittedly so deteriorate. deteriorate deteriorate faster as 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 you progress in age but still you know he's still the younger fighter uh with that being said so it's kind of hard to convince me that the older fighters aging out the younger fighter anyway but anyway um he said that yeah man if, if pacquiao you know should uh shannon sharp ask uh you know what check it out right here pacquiao mayweather what would have been different had they fought let's just say five years earlier is the outcome any different i still think that floyd Bray probably would have pulled it off i really do think so stop it Get some help. So yeah, as you can see, he asked him what would have transpired if 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 uh, Betty Pacquiao and Floyd would have fought earlier. And you know, Oscar said, "Hey man, it would have been a closer fight." He thinks, um, but he says that he still sees the same outcome, the same result with Floyd Mayweather winning. You know what I'm saying? And so, and 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 and, and Oscar has been in the past uh, um, very. Um, adamant i would say even uh he's very prone and he uh to pick pacquiao he's side with pacquiao be more gracious when it comes to pacquiao and more complimentary of P pacquiao but you know um this time he was you know he just gave a full honest breakdown and sometimes when you're when you're when you are talking to somebody that's outside of your space that you're used to like like you know he's not talking to a boxer he's not talking to a promoter he's not talking to a a a, 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 a fan of, of boxer he's talking a boxer he's talking to another person in the sports realm but someone that's far removed from boxing so you can kind of see see um they can kind of offer and give you uh inside view a close-up view of how they really are and I, and I know while some people will still be skeptical of this oscar because you know they he has a reputation of being a little slithery what? a little sneaky you know, a little snakeish what? but i do think that this is closer to his more genuine self you know when he's outside of boxing promoter mode outside of boxing mode outside of offensive mode or defensive mode you know and just be himself and i think that these are really real genuine authentic answers man i thought it was a dope look you know and i also agree with him i think as much as i I think Betty Pacquiao is in the argument of being one of the goats. I think Floyd is in the argument of being one of the goats. Of course, you have Sugar Ray Leonard you could consider, Sugar Ray Robinson you could consider, Rocky Marciano, Muhammad Ali, rest in peace. There's a whole bunch of people that you could consider the goats. Well, it's a small pool, but I definitely think that Pacquiao and Floyd have, her, have consideration. I do personally, for me, I believe Floyd is the greatest. Bullshit! 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 Uh, um, and he's the most cerebral. Um, but with that being said, you know, I do think that... Um, Oscar is right, man. I think that uh, people over exaggerate and, and tend to just say whatever they want because uh, they're in denial or whatever. But I think that pa Floyd won against Pacquiao. Uh, I know Pacquiao had an injury, a shoulder injury, allegedly. I still think that if they would have fought two years before with or without the short shoulder injury, five years before with or without the shoulder injury, I still think the outcome would remain the same. I still think Floyd beats him. But that's just my personal opinion. And obviously, I share that opinion with Oscar De La Hoya, man. So I thought this interview was dope, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I'm about to go back and finish it. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I just want to drop this news on y'all, man, just in case those of you that had, that did not get a chance to watch it, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Y'all be easy. Shout out to Oscar De La Hoya. More, shout out to uh, Shannon Sharp. And most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.